David Foster and Friends now on tour. David, as you know, probably has discovered more people responsible for more hits, etc. Here's one of his friends. Uh, she's okay. So the greatest on? singer in the world. Okay. All right. Hey, man. Hey, Steve. How are you? Thank you, Ray. Thank you. Uh, oh, are we walking? No. We don't no. have to. No, we can do whatever you like. You want to see the lion? Don't you think we look alike? I think we are to hug you. Yeah. The, lion, the lion reminded me of one of my ex-wives. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> not, the, not the one that's my friend. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, no, no. then we can have to. Oh, there's plenty <laughs> more. There's plenty more. I know there are others. How are you? Good to see you. Good look great. you, honey. Please so do you. Uh, you okay. May I? It's yours. You Thank got you. it well. <laughs> I tried to get in there and hug you, and you're on the phone. Are you making deals? How many deals did you? How uh, many Grammys did you get while you were on the phone in there? No, you know, but I, I, I have been on the road as we discussed, mm -hmm. and so this, this is my. I got back late last night from Miami, and uh, oh. so today's my first day of kind of like normal. Now you know, Steve mm -hmm. always wanted to be you, and he doesn't believe me that I said you wanted to sit in here. Always. What do you mean? You, you two I auditioned for train. entertainment tonight. Didn't mm -hmm. get the gig. So at the front when door. John, when did you do when this? When John Tesh left, I wanted to be John Tesh. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Everybody wants to be what they're not. You know? you, you're so right about that. I mean, here you are, this fabulous gig that you have and, and work with all the best people ever, and you want to sit and work with us. Yeah. It's amazing. I will have a TV show. I will have yeah. a TV show. Well, you, you, why not? You've done everything else. Why not? not? You've been on 500 TV shows, yeah. right? They well, always bring you in, you know? Yeah, this tour has been a lot of fun. I have a lot more respect for artists now. It's about, time. it's about time. Yeah, because <laughs> it's not just the two and a half hours on stage, but it's all the other stuff you do, yeah. like this, which is, of course, a pleasure. No, this is but all he does. You never really <laughs> traveled, right? I mean, you... Never. you okay, no. so... You have the luxury of sort of staying in, in the, at, the, uh, at the estate and writing the music. Yes. Yeah. Uh, if I might uh, say this to you, because we've discussed this, I think that uh, you have been so uniquely successful and have discovered so many people that if I were you, I would lock my door and shut off my phone. Yeah. Do you understand? Anytime. And it's a difficult... It's Not a, for you, for him. He uh, would. No, no. Right. It's a very difficult thing because then people are grabbing at you all right. the time. Everybody wants And you're you. a nice guy, and that's a difficult thing. It is, but you know, the alternative is that you're not successful. Mm -hmm. And that, I would slash my wrist if I couldn't be sort of in the mix all the time. So I don't think maybe that is going to be for me ever. You know? And, and wow. this gift that you have of spotting talent, did, did you always have it when you were back, when you were a guy in a band? In cetera, Canada? Yeah. Is there dick uh, uh, Canada. Fist Come on. Up. Thank you. You're West Coast. I don't right? happen to think, this is the honest truth, I don't think my gift is special, that part of it. I know I have a gift for playing the piano and making music and working with all these singers, but the gift of actually spotting a talent. Look, Josh Groban, Amazing. how could you not hear that voice yeah. and go, oh my God, when I saw Celine the first time, how could you not? I mean, it just makes me like how millions of people. That other people didn't, that right. other people didn't. Well, how, how old was True. Celine when you, when you spotted her? Uh, 18. And 19, you spotted her in Mo Montreal? Yeah. Or? Yeah, in Montreal, yeah. I mean, but to me it was like, like the movie, when everything yeah. stops, all I could hear was her voice. Okay, like, so let's say that that's a given and it's not the talent that you think, that we right. think it is. How do you go from spotting it to promoting it into that superstar? Well, that's where I'm a genius. <laughs> <laughs> that's what David does. That's the genius part. <laughs> now, have you ever been wrong? Have you ever just thought, this is the next Barbra Streisand, and it kind of wasn't? Steve Edwards' country album, aside I've, from that. Well, I've heard it. Uh, <laughs> I've, always, I've been so wrong. For instance, I told Celine not to record the Titanic. Oh, oh you did? Yeah. I Why? told Richard Marks to be a producer and a writer, but not be a singer. We laugh about it to this oh, day. He sold 50 funny. million records. Why didn't you want Celine's life to go on? <laughs> <laughs> Very good. I just didn't think the song was right for her. And so when you're wrong, though, you've got to be big and, wrong. And because then you can be right big, too. Yeah, right? I, I like that. Right? That's my theory. Why drown in the puddle? Compromise when you drown breeds in the ocean? mediocrity. How does that For happen? sure. Right. Compromise breeds mediocrity. Yeah. And good is the enemy of great. Let me give you a baseball good analogy. Good is the enemy you don't, of great. Okay. You, don't, you don't hit okay. home runs by bunting. Oh, <laughs> oh that's oh, mine. From oh, now on, got that it. is mine. All right. Yes. All right. Um, when you're just alone and you listen to music, what do you listen to? Um, I listen to classical music mostly. Do you? So or what? nothing at all. What what kind of classical music? Um, and, you know, I just turn on you know K Mozart, which is Mozart. not around you're anymore. Mozart, but yeah. uh, you know, okay. I mean, you know, the big three, the big Bs. Yeah. You know, and, and I, I, does that inspire you? Listening to Beethoven's Ninth, does that inspire you in your work? Like you cannot 
believe. Like, it really? brings me to tears. It brings me to my knees. That's yeah. Because they've done it all. There's only 12 notes, mm -hmm. and they've done it all hundreds of years before us. That and the Wu-Tang Clan are in your uh, CD. <laughs> they were right? hot in the day. Yeah. You're on the road all the time. What's going on with you? I don't see you. Are, is there a future, you know, ex Mrs. Uh, Foster at any point? That <laughs> the tour uh, ha have a beautiful uh, girlfriend right now named Yolanda for the last three years. Um, but I've been touring this sort of David Foster and Friends concept, <clears throat> which is my funeral while I'm alive everywhere, And the which Friends is great. are fabulous. Cool. You can enjoy it when you're living. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, David like Dare showing up. The Friends are fun. Yeah. yeah. So, so you, can't, you can't call it your eulogy as you travel because you're still alive, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but it's as though it would be. Yeah. Do they have a David Foster day up in Canada or something? Because you no. are... Not even they, a street. Nothing. They revere you up there. I you know need that. You to get on that. Well, there's fall. I have no pull up there. I'm not even allowed back <laughs> in the country. <laughs> but if I were. This footage is great. Yes, this, this is from the special, yeah. which spawned the tour. And uh, we're out there on the road. We have uh, Philip Bailey from Earth, Wind, and Fire. We I have. Uh, is there anybody difficult that you work with? Like, you hear all these things. I love Barbara Streisand. I respect sure her so much. Is she, is she. The worst person I ever worked for in my life. Oh. Ever. You coming to Steve? <laughs> Tell me. Okay. Oh, that's what I guess. That's not a surprise. Yeah. I know it's Sorry. not Barbara because yeah. you guys are. You are no, a classy no, it's man not for not Jackson. saying it, but uh, I work with him every day. Yeah. <laughs> years here, David, and I... ah, that was so oh, good. That was better than the book. That was better than the Yeah. No, he can't. Well, let's just find out. Sing this quickly. Yeah. Sing this note. La la. Wait, wait, wait. One wow. at a time. Sorry. One no, no, time. that's good. Yeah. La la. All three. Oh, she's worse. Yeah. She was worse. No, no. <laughs> um, Philip Bailey. I'm interested in him because he's a wonderful gospel singer. Is that does that come out on the tour? Um, we're doing songs that we did together from the Earth, Wind, and Fire days. Mm -hmm. But he he rocks the joint. He opens the show actually. Yeah, yeah. And just sets the pace. You know, you come out and do September and Fantasy, and after the love is gone, oh that my sets God. the pace. Oh yeah. So beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, I was the guy that stood in line at midnight to get the Earth, Wind & Fire album at Tower Records, back when there was a record. How much money have you... That's the only thing I want to ask you about. The industry's changing so much. Oh. I bought an iTunes. I know. And Are we coming back or am I done? Wait. This is it. So say it all in this second. Say how much money? How many Grammys helps money? Is that what... No. You've got to say question? Thursday night at the amphitheater. You That's can come and see the show. That's what I was going to say. That's okay. what I was going to yeah. say. David is going to perform at the Gibson Amphitheater oh, yeah. Thursday night. For more details, look at you with the loose inside, with the very hey. sexy on the piano. Where's Dean Martin? Thursday, 8 o'clock. And this is how you can get more details. My Fox LA. Yeah. Com. We will hook you up with David Foster and Friends. Now, the hitmaker. Do we know who the friends are? Well, yes. We're here from Chicago.